Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. So today's video is about Nugget. You can use Nugget to add features, customize and tweak your device and it works on all devices. Nugget is completely free and we are at its official GitHub page. This video is for educational purposes so please use it responsibly. Also we have the latest version for Nugget version 4.2 which adds new features has some bug fixes and more and for this we are going to test it on ios or ipad os 18.2 or higher and we will see what works now while you are at its official github page you can scroll down and get the latest release which is version 4.2 at the time of making this video and you can get this nugget underscore windows zip file to your pc first of all you can see that i already got this zip file simply right click and then extract all then extract and you will get this folder now for this to work you will have to install itunes you can install itunes from the official apple's website for your windows pc also for your ease you will see this official link to apple's website where you can get itunes or you can also get it from the microsoft store it will work also, as per my testing, the Python is already built into Nugget. But if you see any error or you see any problem using Nugget, you can get to the official website for Python and get Python for Windows. Just make sure that you check these two checkboxes when you try to install Python. All right, now simply connect your device via USB, then open the Nugget folder and then run Nugget. Right click and run it as administrator. All right, you can see Nugget is open and you can see my version iOS 18.2, which is partially supported and it will work on any version higher than iOS 18.2, but your mobile guest old tweaks will not work because they were fixed with iOS 18.2 or higher. But now we have more features. We have the option to disable some demons we have internal options we have springboard options and if you go to settings and turn this checkbox you can see we have another option from where you can disable OTA updates which will make your device think that it is on the latest version and now you also have the option to disable thermals you also have the option to set a custom device resolution now for disabling the OTA updates I recommend not using this option but going to demons and then hitting modify here and then disabling OTA daemon altogether this option is the safest if you want to disable OTA and in internal option I will select this option I will also select this one this one you can also show such as in springboard options you can add a footnote you can add a supervision text on the lock screen if you enable supervision disable low battery alerts disable breadcrumbs and more now in settings if you want to enable supervision you can simply check this box here and it will require skip setup so please make sure it is on and you can simply type the name here or the text you want to show up in settings then hit apply then hit apply changes at this point your device will now restart hit ok you will see success all right guys as you can see the show touches option or feature is working fine you can see the build number right here also now if you check for updates i will go to settings general software update you can see the OTA updated daemon is indeed now disabled and now I am unable to check for update completely preventing my device to be updated automatically to the latest available version. You can see the device is also supervised with the text we selected and the footnote is also being shown on the lock screen as you can see it right here along with other options or features we selected. Now if you wish to remove all the tweaks or customizations and return back to stock you can simply open nugget then head to apply then 
hit this button remove all tweaks your device will now restart hit ok you will see a success and after the restart your device will be back to stock also in some cases if the supervision is still on what you can do is open nugget then settings and then deselect supervision then hit apply then apply changes to turn that off now as you can see the supervision is also off along with the footnote that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care